How did your high school crush end up in life? She was my high school crush. Kind, caring, just full of life. We've become close friends. I proposed, but she chose the other guy. Wish them nothing but happiness. They were married until she came home and found her husband in bed with his co-worker. Went into a social media breakdown for a couple of months until she disappeared completely. Last I heard she moved to another city to begin a new life. If I weren't married I'd go after her like in the movies. Sherry wherever you are I hope you found happiness. Perfect house in the perfect subdivision. With the perfect husband and to perfect sons. Lasted about eight years, then she left it all behind. Even said she didn't want to see the bows anymore. Got herself a boyfriend, who was a senior in high school, and a job at Walmart, sleeping on my couch. That was in my house, that I shared with my wife, her sister. Things got a little wonky, and I had to kick her out. Not really sure where she ended up after that. She kind of fell off the face of the earth. He died. He went in for a common surgery, some kind shoulder rotator cuff thing, and developed a pulmonary embolism. It can happen to anyone after surgery. He went to recovery, was discharged from the hospital two days later, then died in his sleep that night at home. He was 35 years old. He co-owned a local Irish restaurant and pub with his best friend. Never married, no kids, but adored his siblings' children. He was a dick when we were young, but grew up to be a pretty nice guy. One seems to be happily married and have to beautiful kids. One I have no idea, but last time she was having just a regular work church life, as she always seemed to enjoy since we were kids. Last one became a mother, but last time I saw her she kinda sounded like an immature spoiled adult, which I didn't see coming. But when I put one and one together from school time, Kinda made sense. Hope she's doing fine though. One can be immature and still do fine. Man, if you had asked this five years ago I would have said, living exactly the charmed upper middle class life everyone expected him to live. Degree from a good university. Beautiful wife. Beautiful home. Kids. Trips abroad. The good life. Came to find out he was subsidizing that life with a smidge of fraud and a touch of addiction to prescription pain medication. We're talking a federal investigation. Truly the biggest shock of my life. Last I knew, he had a boring, low effort job as a sysadmin and no social media presence. Never married. Didn't want kids, which I can understand given that his mother had Alzheimer's. Oops, some dementia himself by now. Which would be sad, since we've spent 30 years trying to develop treatments based on faulty basic science research, and not surprisingly, come up with almost nothing. Turned out we were both gay. Most hilarious breakup I've ever had. Hands down the best. But we fell out of touch. But yeah, he said something along the lines of, I don't know how I feel about kissing women, but I have enjoyed sex with men, and I gotta say I felt about the same way reversed. Every man I've ever thought I liked has been extremely gay, and I didn't start dating women until after high school. Last we spoke he called after my mum died to ask me if his best friend is gay. I got mad he didn't bother to call or text me when my mum passed. His teacher. And I text him when it happened as he was one of my best friends. Silence and of course called him out for asking me about someone else's sexuality, rather than asking the person themselves. Haven't spoke since, good riddance. Based off quick Facebook search one is a nun, another the first one's cousin posts mems praising sound of freedom, and this was against masks and trans folks. The girl I dated instead is now a city councilwoman in Utah. I guess I have a type because my wife was raised a Baptist minister's daughter, but we are super progressive dinkwads, so it worked out. Every girl had a crush on this guy, me to the point of having vivid dreams about him, and our minute interactions were all my poor. Friends would hear me talk about at lunch. After graduation, he flew out of the closet and moved to NYC where he became a drag queen. He's now engaged to a fellow hot man and to my knowledge he's very happy. I'm happy for him. I actually dated my crush for a bit. Until I left the state for college, parted as friends. He went to school locally 
and became an elder services social worker. After a failed marriage with the girl he dated right after me, he found his person. She's great and has a daughter he loves as his own and is hugely involved in raising. He's one of the good ones. A few years ago, he messaged me apologizing for his behavior in high school. I didn't question it, but I think he was working his steps. I accepted his apology, thanked him, and said that we both have families and lives that are so much more important than whatever high school's was. We wish each other happy birthday every year on FB and that works for us. I had a few. My main one is married with at least one child and a new house to renovate I think to children. I saw him on my lunch break several years ago and he looked so different but he seemed happy so that was nice. It was just a high school crush so I only occasionally see things that pop up on social media. Never have gone into his profile. She was a mum of two kids. I have no idea who the father is was. That she overdosed on what I assume is heroin though the town paper doesn't officially say. She is the third person in my high school class of only 90 kids to pass from this. She was a smart and pretty girl who brightened any room. I was in shock when I heard. Don't do drugs people. One dropped out of uni and became an indie singer-songwriter, the other think they were studying volcanology. They weren't the most emotionally stable person so I honestly have no idea how they're doing now. Haven't heard of them for years but I hope they're doing alright. Not great from what I hear. Pretty much the moment we broke up, he started dating someone else. They got married very quickly soon found out he's sterile and his wife is mentally ill. They've cut off most family. Him and my brother-in-law are cousins so I hear updates now and then. I feel bad for him. I'm guessing they've been through a lot. She's become quite wealthy working in finance, is married with a child and, if anything, she looks better now than she did then dot dot. Would I rather have been in the picture for these things? Sure, but I do feel a twinge of pride that I at least wasted my formative years pining over someone. Worthwhile. I wish my adult self could say the same. He married someone other than me. We did date and break up. He has put on a considerable amount of weight. Six years into his marriage to his wife, he reached out to me on Facebook to rant about how bad his marriage was. I told him I wasn't his therapist and he should probably go talk to a professional if things were not working out. Things are the same people pretty much. Physically I feel like he went downhill, but I mean he's been in a long-term relationship and now has a legal growing operation so I guess he's doing fine law. He's still a good friend of mine that I chat with once or twice a year, and it's like no time has passed. She ended up in one of the Carolinas. Can't remember which looked to be married to some rich dude. Huge house surrounded by white fenced horse pastures. Her parents didn't like me much because I wasn't motivated to go become a brain surgeon or something like that. They were blue collars. Fire inspector and a nurse. Politics. Conservative politics specifically. She works at one of those think tanks that makes you frown when you think of it. Smart lady but she's not working there as a thinker or whatever you call them, just an admin person or something. I heard the impulsively married, then divorced a Mormon guy a few years back. She ended up attending my wedding she was going out with a friend of mine at the time. They both spent the evening chewing her gums, staring daggers at everybody, and insulting our other friends as they were high on cocaine. Wasn't massively interested in keeping in touch after that surprisingly enough. She's married with three kids. She seems very happy, and my life has turned out pretty well too. I kinda hope we reconnect one day I was friends with both her and her husband in HS, and my wife would get along with both of them really well and our kids are about the same age. Hometown in the past few years. Class of 2010. Each put on 50. One has a lazy eye and I believe is addicted to opioids. The other is with an army guy that knocked her up had no life in her eyes. Hoop. She failed out of engineering and that's the last I saw of her. I found out that a while later that she went back for accounting. Ended up in NYC working for Deloitte. We're from rural Canada. I think she did pretty well for herself. She went to college for vet stuff and got married pretty young. Kinda glad nothing came to be with her as I'm on a different path in life and dealing with marriage. And what not at this point in my life would effectively kill my career. 
I saw her at the grocery store two issues ago. Still didn't ask her for her number, huh? Maybe next time. Edit, I just remembered after I commented that I also saw her at a restaurant. She was waitressing while I was on a date, haha. I was just talking about this topic the other night. I didn't keep track throughout the years and curiously looked him up on social media. Nothing. Googled him and really wish I hadn't. He was busted in a CP sweep in 2014. He ended up marrying his cousin, same last name and everything. They have two kids. I dodged a bullet in not actually dating him. But then again we wouldn't have ended up together because we aren't related enough I guess. Honestly I think he's got a drug problem now. And kept it concealed by working an isolated job not posting a lot on social media. He's 30. And dating 20 year olds because women our age don't want him nor. Bullet dodge. She passed away in a car accident a month before we were to be married. We started dating when we were 16. She passed away at 19. I'm 60 fur and still a day hasn't went by that haven't cried for her she was my everything. She's highly placed with the NSA. Her husband worked for Oni for a while. They have a couple of great kids. Very happy life and apparently she's a scratch golfer. Awesome human. Awesome family. Super happy for her. He's still hot. He's a toxicologist and is married. Has one son. Beautiful home. But they're so fucking religious it's weird. Huge picture of Jesus in the living room. I think I dodge a bullet with this one. Lives in ARV with her husband who is training to become a professional wrestler. Friends with her husbands as well. We share a common passion for music. We all bonded separately over our music tastes.